used for jump start it also has a light and a compressor this is how you check the voltage uh, additionally it has 12 volt cigarette lighter adapters per cables both sides red and black AC outlets two DC outlets for USB There's USB right here and for AC we'll start the fan because it will get hot for jump start you switch to on use the two clamps on each side to attach to the battery and jump start a car and here's the uh, compressor hose, tie inflator. However, as of late, as soon as you remove the charger, the battery voltage starts discharging. So I'm thinking it's a bad battery. And I want to see if uh, we can fix it. Abuelito can fix it. Time to disconnect. It's been charging for over 48 hours. We'll test the voltage. It's about 13 volts. We check the compressor. That's how it's supposed to sound. And we're gonna wait a few hours and see how the battery does. I think it's discharging steadily. And then we'll go from there. Okay, it's only been a couple of hours. It's already kind of slow. So we're gonna disassemble and uh, try to charge the battery with uh, a charger that conditions the battery. All right, we have like uh, nine screws. Double check over here for another screw. No, nope. we're good. Okay, to separate, we need to remove this, the jumper cables. It prevents it from opening. We separate carefully. Now, carefully, we're going to remove the battery. Okay, we have a 516 sock. Round first. This one terminal. This one has a washer. You want to lose it. Oh, 
Oops. And this is the replacement that we need. To get, make sure that the terminals are exactly the same so they can be bolted. We're looking 12 volts, 18 amp hour or 20 amp hour. RT12180. All right, let's do some quick research. I also want to take a look inside, make sure there's nothing that looks burnt. Right there. Everything looks good. There's another circuit board at the bottom. And it doesn't look bad at all. Nothing really looks burnt. It's very clean. Right there. We have the Noco Genius 10. It charges uh, different batteries 12 volts, and different types, 6 volts also automatically. So we're going to try that. We're going to clamps, it says 12 volts. That's it. You don't have to wait and see. The battery looks fine. It's not swollen. Having a wooden block. Very straight sides. Nothing swelling. Swollen. Looks in good condition. I'm just going to. The status LED has to be in this position and it will be complete after a couple of days of charging and using the Noco Genius 10 repair mode battery only shows 10.7 volts which is way low I'm gonna look for a replacement I'm going to install it and test it. All right, Mighty Max battery. 12 amp hours, 12 volts. So we're going to time to install it. And it goes up right. It's a seat, but you can see it. Then we're going to connect backwards the way we disconnect it.
tints. Soccer down branch. Sure it's not moving. Now the negative terminal had two volts. Had the uh short ground wire the washer is in the bolt I'm gonna get it started And that's a little bit of spark. A tiny bit. Check the compressor, loud noise, really cool, so getting the plastic casing aligned, has some uh, pre-built tracks, to make sure that the cables are not in the way, the batteries really push forward. Almost. Okay. All right. Almost 13, light. Looks good. I'm going to test the uh, compressor, see if it works. I'm gonna feel this tire, you can see. It needs some air. Spider-Man bicycle. Like this? Good. Oh, Very good. Tight it works. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very good. Good job. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. So. How about now? Not one now. Uh, not. Not yet. Oh. Okay, done. Very good. The other tire is also very flat. So we're gonna use again the
That's good. That's big. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe it's a surprise. Already? No, not yet. Not yet? How about now? Nope. 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 Let me know. Done. All right.